Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about the basics and the introduction of a concept called units. We know physics is a subject which is understood in terms of measuring things that are happening around us. We study things, we try to understand the nature around us basing on the terms called physical quantities. So physical quantities are simply the quantities basing on which we can understand physics. They could be broadly divided into two categories. One is fundamental physical quantities. When you say fundamental, they are independent of any of the other physical quantities and they are also called like basic physical quantities. The other physical quantities are called derived physical quantities. The simple examples for the fundamental physical quantities are like length, mass, time. These are the physical quantities which doesn't depend on any other physical quantities at all. For example, time is not going to depend on anything else like length, mass or else velocity. That kind of a physical quantities which are independent of any of the other physical quantities are called as fundamental quantities. The other type of the physical quantities are derived physical quantities which are dependent of fundamental quantities or derived from the fundamental quantities. Say for example, when you say velocity, we know velocity is defined as rate of change of displacement. We can write it like displacement by time. So it is very clear velocity is not a fundamental physical quantity Rather, it is a dependent on two other fundamental quantities like uh, displacement and time. Similarly, acceleration, force, work done and so on. These are all called something like uh, derived physical quantities. So, physical quantities are someone basing on which we can understand the science. They are broadly of two categories, fundamental physical quantities and uh, derived physical quantities. Fundamental physical quantities does not depend on anyone else whereas derived physical quantities depends on the fundamental quantities. To measure this fundamental quantities we shall have certain units. So unit is simply is a way of measuring the physical quantity. So if we have to define someone as a unit it shall satisfy certain conditions. What could be that conditions? It shall be well defined. It shall have a clear meaning and clear way of defining that. We shall be following that definition. It shall be easily reproducible. You just make one unit, one sample way of unit to measure length. Say for example, you define meter. You shall have a way of reproducing the meter easily to a large extent therefore it can be available for the everybody in the world. It shall be easily reproducible. It shall not be destructible. It has to be available for everybody and so one day you shall not say it was stolen by somebody therefore I have no reference therefore it has to be safely there and available for everybody and it shall be easily accessible also we are able to buy it and it shall be easy and cheap to reproduce it right and it has to be invariable. It shall not vary from person to person and place to place. Therefore, uh, we, we are all using the same kind of the unit. Therefore, there is no confusion when you are using the same unit. And uh, finally, it shall be acceptable for all. Everybody shall accept. Therefore, we can follow. Everybody can follow that uh, unit. Taking this into consideration, there are broadly different kinds of units that are available for you under different kinds of systems. They are something like uh, we have the systems like uh, FPS system where to measure the mass we use feet, to measure the mass we use pound, to measure the length we use feet and to measure the time we measure we use seconds. Similarly, we have CGS units where to measure the length we use centimeters, to measure the mass we use grams and to measure the time we use seconds. We have further system like uh, MKS system where to measure the mass we use kilograms, to measure the length we use meters 
and to measure the time we use seconds. When somebody has introduced a FPS system, people had taken the basic things like foot, whose foot has to be taken into account. Every human being is having a different kind of a feet. Therefore, taking somebody's feet as a reference is not going to be successful. So, that system is dropped. And when you come to the CGS system, there is nothing wrong with the centimeters, but the problem is its unit is too small. Centimeter is too small. So, to use this unit, somewhere you want to say what is the length between the India and America then this length this unit expressing in this unit becomes makes the unit too large similarly with the grams also we cannot measure everything in the grams when you are measuring small physical quantities like small uh, things like if you want to buy gold you can buy it in terms of grams because it is a costly element say but if you want to buy a rice from the shop you cannot buy it in grams we need a upgraded unit. For that sake, we have an MKS unit where length is a little more comfortable for measuring larger physical quantities. Similarly, meters, similarly to measure the mass, we have kilograms which is more comfortable. Throughout these systems, we are having second as a standard unit which is same to measure the time whether it is an FPS system, CGS system or even a MKS system. Having said that, as the time has got uh, progressed, people started inventing new physical quantities. For example, someone has invented current and it is identified that current cannot be expressed in terms of any of these fundamental quantities like length, mass and time. Similarly, there is temperature. It is very clear that temperature cannot be expressed in terms of the existing fundamental quantities like length, mass and time. Current cannot be expressed in terms of the existing physical quantities. Intensity of the light which is also called like luminous intensity, people fail to explain it in terms of the fundamental quantities and similarly the number of the, the amount of the substance, there is a small kind of a substance which So, we have new set of physical quantities like temperature, current, intensity of light and quantity of matter and people fail to express them in terms of the fundamental quantities like length, mass and time. So, these were also accepted like fundamental quantities to measure the temperature, a unit called something like Kelvin is used to measure the current, ampere is used to measure the intensity, candela is used to measure the quantity of the matter a unit mole is used. Thus, thus we have new physical quantities which were also treated like fundamental quantities. Taking these new physical quantities length, mass and time of course, they were also accepted like fundamental quantities length, mass and time. You know that in MK system length is measured in terms of unit meter, mass is measured in terms of kilogram, time is measured in terms of second. These physical quantities, these seven physical quantities length, mass, time, temperature, current, intensity of light and quantity of matter. So, these physical quantities are being treated like a fundamental quantities, they were all named under a unit called something like a SI system or a standard international system. Of course, there is some uh, sub units like angle and solid angle where angle is measured with a unit called something like radian, solid angle is measured with a unit called steradian. Taking all these into consideration, a new system, standard international system that we are following right now is defined. So, all these units are measurement fundamental units, they are used to measure the fundamental quantities. Thank you, I will be seeing you back in the one more video lecture.